Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanaude, Assistant Professor of Computer Engineering Department of All India Shashivaji Memorial Society Institute of Information Technology, Pune. And today we are going to discuss about the architecture of data warehouse and business intelligence. So, in this topic, we are going to discuss about the uh, business intelligence and data warehouse architecture and style relation between business intelligence and data warehouse in OLAP, uh, the different OLAP architectures, data models, tools, uh, 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 tools in business intelligence, uh, like that. Then uh, first is the BI and uh, data warehouse architecture and its style. Data warehouse and business intelligence are the terms used to describe the process of storing all the company's data in internal or external databases from various sources with the focus on analysis and generating actionable insights through online BI tools. So uh, what is data warehouse? First of all, we are going to discuss about the data warehouse. A data warehouse is a centralized repository that includes past and community, uh, cumulative information from one or multiple sources. The employees of an organization can use the repository uh, for analysis, drawing insights, and data-driven decisions. Uh, the ETL, ETL is nothing but the extract, transform, and load uh, process to understand, uh, sorry, uh, ETL process is a fundamental concept of data warehouses. Uh, e for extract, gathering data, uh, it means uh, gathering data from various heterogeneous sources. Then transform is converting substandard, uh, data into uh, clean structure and verified data that is ready to use and load means loading the data on the new destination. The main difference between transactional databases and data warehouse is the transactional database are not designed for analytical queries, uh, whereas the data warehouse are specifically optimized for efficient uh, analytics process. In short, transactional databases and uh, data warehouses are similar except for the analytical aspect. Uh, so the data warehouse model typically includes historical transactional data. However, it can contain data from other source as well. It distinguishes analytical capacity from transactional capacity and allowing companies to collect data from uh, numerous sources. This way it assists in uh, the following. First one is the preserving records and first, uh, next is the evaluating the data to better understand and enhance corporate operation. Uh, this is the difference between uh, business intelligence and data warehouse. Uh, the business intelligence, it is a decision support system and data warehouse, it is a data storage system. So uh, also uh, the business intelligence serves at the front end and data warehouse serves at the back end. Uh, the business intelligence, the aim of business intelligence is to enable user to make informed data-driven decisions. And the where, uh, whereas a uh, data warehouse, a uh, data warehouse main aim is to provide the users to business intelligence, a structure and uh, comprehensive view of available data of an organization. Then collect data from the data warehouse uh, for analysis. And uh, in data warehouse, collect data from various uh, separate uh, sources and organization for efficient uh, business analysis. Uh, the uh, business intelligence, it deals with OLAP, that is online uh, analytical processing, uh, in that data visualization, data mining, query, reporting tools, etc. And uh, data warehouse, it deals with acquiring, gathering of data, metadata management, cleaning of data, transforming of data, then uh, data uh, dissemination, data recovery, backup planning, etc. For example, uh, first, uh, in business intelligence uh, regions, example of the business intelligence is SAP, uh, science, uh, then data pine, looper, etc. And the example of data warehouse, is uh, big query, uh, Snowflake, Amazon, Redshift, uh, Panopla, etc. So this is the difference between uh, business intelligence and data warehouse. So what is OLAP? That is online analytical processing. 
uh, in that online analytical processing is the software technology you can use to analyze business data from different points of view. Also, organization collect and store data from multiple data sources, such as website, applications, smart meters, and uh, internal systems. So, OLAP combines and groups this data into categories uh, to provide actionable insights for strategic planning. For example, a retailer stores data about all the product it uh, sells, such as colors, size, cost, and location. The retailer also collect customer purchase data, such as the name of the item, order, and total sales value in a different system. So OLAP combines the data set to answer questions, such as which color products are more popular to how product uh, placement impact sales. So why is OLAP, uh, OLAP important? OLAP helps organization process and benefit from a growing amount of digital information. So some benefits of uh, OLAP include the following. First one is the faster decision making, then uh, non-technical user support and integrated database. So uh, different OLAP architectures uh, in that product type, location, time, data engineers build a uh, multi-dimensional data or OLAP system that is consist of the following elements. Uh, first one is the data warehouse, ETL tools, or OLAP servers, OLAP databases, then OLAP cube and OLAP analytical uh, analytic tools. How does OLAP work? An online analytic processing system works by collecting organization or aggregating and analyzing data using the following step. First one is that the OLAP servers collect data from multiple data sources, including relational databases and data warehouses. Then extract, uh, then the extract, transform, and load tool clean, aggregate, uh, calculate, and store data in a OLAP cube according to the number of dimensions specified. And business analysis use uh, OLAP tools uh, to query and generate reports for the multidimensional data in a OLAP cube. Uh, so OLAP uses multidimensional equations to query the OLAP cube. MDX is a query like SQL that provides a set of instructions for multi uh, manipulating databases. So this is the these are the types of OLAP. First one is the MOLAP, ROLAP, and uh, HOLAP. Now the MOLAP means multidimensional online uh, online analytical processing that uh, involve creating data cubes that represent multidimensional data model, data warehouse. The uh, MOLAP system stores pre-calculated data in a uh, in the hypercube. When data engineer use MOLAP because this type of OLAP technology provides fast analysis. Uh, ROLAP means uh, relational online analytical processing. Allows data engineer to perform multi-dimensional data analysis on relational databases. In other words, uh, data engineers use SQL queries to the uh, search uh, and retrieve specific information based on the uh, required dimensions. Uh, then, you know, HOLAP means hybrid online analytical processing combines MOLAP and ROLAP uh, to provide the best of. Both architecture, HOLAP allows data engineers to quickly derive and uh, analyze uh, results from the data and to extra detailed information from the additional databases. So these are some uh, data models. First one is the star, uh, star schema. Uh, then uh, in that uh, product ID, location ID, sales person ID, sales amount ID, uh, all information that is fact table. Uh, for product sales are important. This snowflat schema in the small in that uh, also uh, is an extension of the star schema. Some dimension table might load, lead to one or more uh, secondary dimension table. This result uh, in a snowflake uh, like shape when the dimension table put together. Then uh, next is the uh, tools in business intelligence. Why, uh, business intelligence tools are important. Uh, there will be uh, a certain amount of risk involved in business intelligence uh, business. Uh, BI reporting tools help to minimize the risk, but uh, by providing real-time hyper-accurate reports and by assisting organizations to better understand 
better understand the information in detail. And we have helps uh, eliminate the need for uh, guesswork. So uh, that's why uh, then uh, business management tools are uh, all the systems, applications, controls, calculating solution, and methodologies, etc. Used to organize to be able to cope uh, with changing market, ensure a competitive position in the uh, improve business uh, business performance. So the business tools are used. Then uh, role of DSS. Uh, role of DSS. DSS is predicted on the effective performance of the functions, information management. Data qualification and uh, data mon uh, or model manipulation or data manipulation. Then purchase of decision support system. A decision support system uh, produces detailed information report by gathering and analyzing uh, data. So uh, this is the role of uh, data. This is decision support system. Then uh, these are the roles of EIS. EIS is executive information system. And uh, it is a type of management support system uh, that balances it and supports senior executive information and decision making needs. It provides easy access to internal and external information relevant to organizational tool. And uh, these, uh, following our these rules of EIS in small scale industry for checking to efficiency, better decision making, and insightful information. So, role of MIS. MIS is nothing but the management information system. It is a set of procedures which, when executed, uh, provides information to support decision making. And MIS um, creates information system and data management, that is storing, searching, and analyzing data. Then, these are these um, following are the uh, functions of uh, MIS, that is management information system. First one is to improve decision making, to improve efficiency, to provide connectivity, data processing, uh, prediction, planning, control, and assistance. Then uh, characteristics of MIS. First, uh, first one is the system approach, then uh, management uh, oriented. Uh, then uh, MIS is the need based, then exception based, feature oriented. Uh, then MIS is integrated, long-term planning, subsystem concept. These are some characteristics of MIS, that is management information system. Then these are some uh, roles of MIS. First one is decision making, for, uh, coordination, uh, then comparison of uh, performance, uh, finding out uh, problems and strategies. These are the uh, roles of dashboard. The digital dashboard not only helps you drill down to the insightful that matter most of the business, but they are also offer the directive visual representation that assistance uh, sector more informed decision making as well uh, as the discovery of uh, priceless new insights. Thank you.